Another crustacean, the elegant squat lobster, lives commensally on the arms of crinoid feather stars. It feeds on plankton collected by its host, and its colour often matches the crinoid for camouflage. Squat lobsters are very different from other families of lobster, but take their name due to their long clawed legs. These undescribed squat lobsters of the Galathea genus live on a branching sponge. Space on the reef is at a premium and competition between individuals is fierce. Hermit crabs don't have a hard carapace like other crabs, so they recycle an empty gastropod shell to protect their soft abdomen. This white-spotted hermit crab is using an empty cone shell. Long eye stalks ensure that the crab has a wide angle of view. Hermit crabs carry their adopted home around with them. This individual is carrying a conch shell. In another classic example of mutual symbiosis, the anemone hermit crab carries a specific species of sea anemone on its back. The stinging anemones help protect the crab, while the anemones share in the crab's meals and thrive on the extra mobility. These eyes belong to a pair of box crabs, which are usually buried in the sand during the day with just their sensory organs exposed. Once a male box crab has chosen his female mate, he clings onto her from behind using his two large front claws. Mating will take place just after the female has molted her shell and is still soft. During the wait, the male carries her everywhere with him as he scurries sideways along the seabed. The rear-spined elbow crab has an amazing camouflage. It lays its huge front claws down flat on top of the seabed, where they blend in perfectly with the sand. While this decorator spider crab gathers debris on its body and legs to help it remain undetected. The distinctive zebra crab forms a commensal relationship with one of several species of sea urchin. This one is clinging to the underside of a highly venomous flower urchin. The last segment of the crab's legs has evolved into a hook to grip onto the urchin's spines. Human deaths have been attributed to this urchin. The blue-spotted urchin is another highly venomous echinoderm. The bright coloration serves as a warning to would-be predators. The urchins graze on algae and are able to scurry around on their needles. They are often seen in groups in shallow depths at sites such as hairball. Small fishes like this juvenile emperor red snapper are often seen sheltering amongst blue-spotted urchins. A blue-spotted stingray, a type of mask ray, swims towards the depth that hairball.